All right, welcome back. Let's check your weather out there with ABC 4's Bob Bedore in for Thomas this morning. How are we starting things off for the week here, Bob? Well, we're starting things off real well this morning, but it's going to start taking a little turn as we get into the afternoon. We'll start to see some rain in the valley. We'll start to see some snow coming. And uh, so right now, we'll just take a quick little look, show you how beautiful it is, Utah State there. Just uh, love the way they... Uh, I just it's a great looking camera. That's I love that thing. But we're going to see above average temperatures throughout our week as we get going. We're going to be, you know, five, seven degrees above our normal, which is great. But we do have some valley rain, mountain snow. And even though I just told you above average temperatures, I'm also going to tell you that we've got winter weather advisories and wind alerts going on. It's going to be active throughout Wednesday. That's kind of the main port of point of what we'll be talking about today. But what we've got is this storm starting to make its way over. That'll be the start of our active weather as it finally makes its way in around 11, 12 o'clock, good chance we'll start to see that rain start to hit then, but temperatures looking nice until then. Garden City waking up there, a cold spot right now, 17, but as we make our way down the state, you can see Canaveral 34, they're going to be up near 50 as this day gets rolling along, but we do have these, these winter alerts. Even though it's warm weather, our mountains are going to see a pretty good amount of snow starting a little bit later on this afternoon, probably 2 or 3 o'clock we'll start to see it, but that effect goes in 5 o'clock today until 5 o'clock Wednesday. We're going to see a little over a foot of snow coming during that time into our mountains, which is certainly nice. But let's take a look and see how that's all going to happen. That storm that I told you about making its way in, well, by around 1 o'clock, there it is sitting over uh, the Wasatch Front right now. That rain in the valley, snow in the mountains, that will continue on through the evening. See that green? That is that rain continuing through there. That snow, it's going to start to make its way finally maybe getting some snow start to come in late to Tuesday as we get in but Tuesday morning could see more of that then it looks like it's going away but look at the storm that's coming from the south and it's going to make its way up into the entire state we're going to see more of that rain throughout most of the state and then Wednesday that's where we're going to start to see most of the snow in the valley where we'll start to see that really coming in by 6 a.m. could be a bad commute as we're going to see a lot of snow around that time then finally makes its way out we'll see clearer weather throughout the week until we start to get into Friday, you'll start to see a little bit of a storm starting to come in there, but our six to 10 day precipitation outlook looking fabulous right now as we are in that dark green. That's a great color to see because that is really helping our drought where we're looking to do everything we can to get out of that. We're going to need every drop of moisture we can to make that happen. See if we can get rid of that uh, little brown 2% splotch right there in our state. We do have a wind advisory going on. This is going to be happening through southwestern Utah. You can see we're going to see gusts in this area about 55 miles an hour. We can start to see that and let's take a look and show you how that's going to be working its way through. It's going to be starting to build up that red. That's where it starts to get really bad. That's in that there. That's around 11 o'clock tonight. So this is a wind that's going to continue on through the evening into that morning. You see it brushing in 3 p.m. Tuesday, still continue on. Then it finally starts to make its way and heading west. But our regional forecast, you're going to see 40s throughout most of the state today. Going to be a really nice day as it comes to that. But that rain is going to be in the valley, something we're going to have to be watching out for. And if we take a look at St. George, you can see rain Monday, Tuesday. A little break and then chance coming in Saturday, Sunday. Same sort of story happened along the Wasatch Front where we've got that rain, but then probably good chance to get some snow on Wednesday. A little bit of a break. Chance for another storm coming in Saturday and Sunday as that X storm is coming. But again, what we're going to be looking at mostly today and into tomorrow, some rain in the valley, mountain snow along the Wasatch Front. 